He's credited with helping start up the professional careers of Courtney Cox, Sandra Bullock and Eva Longoria. And now former talent agent Alan Nussbaum is in South Africa to share his knowledge with local performers. I came from being a talent agent many years ago in New York City and I noticed that there was actors who are actors and they um, understand Shakespeare and they, they're wonderful thespians but they don't understand the business end of acting. So I created a term called being an actorpreneur. Alan says one of the most successful actorpreneurs working in Hollywood at the moment is our very own Charlize Theron. She has wonderful skills and trained as an actor, but she must have business skills also that really make it all work together because she's employing people to work in her company. She has to employ a talent agent, a manager, a personal assistant, an accountant, people that can run her business while she's out doing the work of a performing artist. And that is really what makes the difference between someone successful and not. Alan is founder of America's largest acting school, the TVI Actor Studio, which he describes as a finishing school for actors who want to make a career out of their craft. Eva Longoria came to TVI looking to really build a, a career in daytime soaps. And she has taken several classes at TVI, one of them with a woman who was casting The Young and the Restless and that got her first foot in the door. Alan recently completed a series of lectures in Cape Town where he says he hopes to show young talent that it is possible to have a Hollywood career no matter where you come from. Technology has changed so much and the marketplace has changed. Actors not only from America but from Cape Town, from Munich, from Dublin, from the UK all have the same opportunities that American actors now have. Every actor will succeed as long as they stay with it. If you're persistent and patient and tenacious and politely aggressive, you are going to succeed because your competition's going to fall out and quit. So even if you're not the most talented actor, if you stay with it, you will succeed because all your competition's going to fall apart and go back to working as a plumber or a carpenter or as, as an accountant or an attorney. And if you stick with it, in three years, five years, 12 years, 20 years down the road, you will succeed. Well, the three-hour lecture includes notes on where to stay, immigration laws, and how to find the perfect agent. What it won't teach you is how to act. You have to want to be an actor because you're a performing artist. You're someone who just enjoys, you're an artist that performs. If you're looking to be famous, most chances are you will never be famous. I think most successful actors enjoy the theater, they train in the theater, they work hard in, in the theater, and they have an appreciation for the art. And those are usually the ones that succeed. And you always have that rare occasion of someone who is on a, a reality TV show and becomes the next hit for three months or six months. But their careers will never sustain themselves. It's always the person who has a long-term career has a history in theater and education and a knowledge of the business. I always used to tell myself if I can just be a working actor that would be so incredible. And as for changing your accent? I think it's important. I think the more opportunities and the more American you sound, the more opportunities you will have to work on a lot of products, whether it be in TV, film, theater, in America. But also, a lot of actors that are successful also have a slight accent. So. I think in the global marketplace, you can get by with an accent. And sometimes it even is beneficial to have that because it makes you different. And if you want to find out more about Alan and his projects, you can visit www.tvistudios.com.